Hello and welcome to our podcast, The Global Smart Cities Today. Our guest is Simon Zhu, Vice President of Global Public Sector Huawei. Hello, Mr. Simon. Hello, very nice to meet you. The development of smart cities is a collaborative effort between uh, governments, technology providers, and uh, a diverse of others, uh, stakeholders. How does Huawei foster uh, these relationships to uh, ensure the success of smart city uh, projects globally? Thank you very much. Uh, Huawei, uh, as a leading ICT solution provider, we have been actively join many governments uh, smart city initiative all over the world and the we uh, as a leading uh, solution provider in this domain we have seen and actively participate many governments and uh, organizations smart city initiatives and we see that many governments uh, we make the estimation more than 100 governments has already launched the smart city initiatives and we see different organizations are participating in this. As Huawei, we have a very clear strategy and we have a very clear vision. We are technology enabler. We help and support governments and different organizations to realize their smart city initiatives and vision in different domains. And we provide our solution technologies together with our ecosystem partners to support the smart city initiatives. For example, in many countries, uh, let's say in my own country, China, we provide uh, an inclusive solution together with our partners to fulfill the government smart city transformations. And uh, we support the government to issue the regulations to how this smart city should be built like to how the smart city should serve for the citizens. And we support the government, not only from technology point of view, but we also support them from policy making point of view. And we are sharing our best practices all over the world. And uh, we make a clear definition that smart city is not a one organization show. Definitely it's not a one organization show. We need to support from government to define the strategy then we should support our ecosystem to grow together to serve for the citizen for a better life. And we share our best practice all across the world, from Africa to Asia, from Europe to Latin America. And we are very proud to be part of these initiatives. Digital inclusivity uh, is a critical aspect as nations around the world uh, undergo digital uh, transformation. Uh, how can governments design uh, an, in an inclusive framework for their uh, smart city uh, projects by promoting accessibility to citizens uh, from all uh, walks of life? Government plays a very important role in providing the inclusive services to all the citizens and all the country people. Uh, for example, in my country, where I'm coming from, China is a huge country with 1.4 billion people. Some of them has good living standard, but there are also a large portion of the people still living in the far reaching rural areas. And those kind of people are difficult to get the equal access to the latest technology. And uh, under this kind of circumstances, government plays a very important role. Government will give the incentives to telecom operator, to a service provider, and to technology provider like Huawei together to provide the equal access for the people who live in the rural areas to have the equal access to the internet by using the latest technology like the 5G or fiber connection, blah, blah, blah. So hundreds of millions of rural places of people that benefit from this kind of uh, uh, latest technology services. By using mobile phone or by using the a PC, tablet or whatever, they can enjoy the same level of quality of services as the people living in the big cities. So government has played a very important role. How they play it, government has to think carefully and by defining some suitable packages to incent incentive the service provider or technical provider to provide the equal access to the people who live in the far reaching places to provide the 
equal access to the elderly people, to the young children, especially or even to some uneducated people, to make them access to the internet, to make them access to the smart city services. And we have seen so many, so many, how can we say, underdeveloped uh, region people, whenever they get the equal access to the internet, they enjoy the good services and the local economy has been boomed. This practice has been happened all over the world. Government has a very, very key role. Government has to define clear incentive plan to incentive the investment, to incentive the service provider to provide these kind of services. But the government has to make their stand clear. They define the strategy, they define the policy, and let the state-owned companies or private companies or different kind of ecosystem to serve for this purpose. Thank you so much. So, uh, considering Huawei's commitment to uh, sustainability, uh, how does the company Envision Smart uh, City Technologies contributing to environmental goals uh, and promoting sustainable urban uh, living? Uh, sustainability and uh, are one of the top priority for Huawei. Mm. We are living in the same planet, yeah. and the global is become warming because of uh, fossil fuels are consuming. So green, uh, one of the Huawei's top priority. Huawei has invested billions uh, during the last several years to improve our efficiency on the energy consumptions. Mm -hmm. We have our green technologies and we are one of the largest solution provider for the green technology, for example, the solar power systems. Mm -hmm. And we are providing to the society with the renewable, how can we say, energy solutions, and then we'll provide a different, different kind of things. All this kind of purpose is to ensure we consume less energy and we consume better green energy. This kind of energy is one of the top priority for us to ensure the sustainability development for humankind. And as, as, one, as one of the example, uh, you know, data center is one of the key components in the latest technology. We use a data center to provide all these kind of information services. And data center is one of the hub who consume a huge amount of power. And right now, the traditional data center, the power efficiency is not very really good. And by using a lot of latest technology, uh, solar technologies, energy technology, even artificial intelligence technologies, we dramatically decrease the power consumption and improves the power efficiency. By doing this kind of work, we are making our own commitment to the humankind for the uh, sustainable development. And we also invest seriously on the green energy technologies. Mm -hmm. Even in many countries in Saudi, we deploy the one of the largest solar farm, what we call. And by doing this, we definitely, how can we say, commitment to the sustainable development of the humankind. So as we are here in the forum of the global smart cities, um, in Riyadh, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, where all uh, governments, leaders, um, uh, companies and technology are here uh, in Riyadh, uh, how uh, have you seen uh, this forum? Uh, we, I feel very, very excited. I feel I'm very happy to meet so many opinion leaders, uh, government officials, uh, think tank leaders gathered together to discuss about the smart city initiatives in the kingdom. And I feel very excited again because this is not my first visit to Saudi. I visited Saudi uh -huh. several times and uh, I feel very Every excited. Time you Every see time the changes. I see it. Yeah. Every slide here changes. <laughs> you know, I come from the country, China, which is developing extremely fast, last 40 years. And I feel the same, same is the same. I found this country is developing in the same speed or even f faster than China right now. And I feel very excited and I feel for this kind of a smart city, it will definitely bring new values to the citizens. You know, years ago at 2017, Huawei together with RC Yanbu, we kick up one smart city project and initiative in that city. It's one of the industrial city in Saudi. And the project goes very successful, and the project even get the Global Smart City Award in Barcelona. And we are very proud of this, to be part of the Smart City Initiative in the Kingdom. 
And I definitely believe uh, by the effort of the whole kingdom, uh, smart city initiative will happen in different, different cities and bring the real value to the citizens. And we are very proud to be part of this. And we are going to commit more and more investment to the initiatives. I'm very happy to be here. Really happy for having you here in Saudi Arabia and also in our podcast, The Global Smart Cities. Mr. Simon Zhou, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Okay. Our listeners, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next episode.